Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. We are the short term traders with the long term plan. And our plan is to be here day after day to trade these markets. One of the markets I will talk about right now is the S&P. And I will tell you right now, I don't care what the euphoric attitude is out there on the street. So Bear Stearns got saved. While we went up for a day and a half, the whole street is bullish all of a sudden. I don't buy it, traders. Don't fall in love with the upside. It's only Tuesday. We got a whole week to try to keep this thing up before they tank it once again. And I say by the end of this week, we'll all be going, why didn't we listen to Oscar? I am kidding you not. Do not fall in love with this rally. Yeah, they could give it another day, a day and a half goose. I don't think we're getting much out of it at all. I've been watching the charts, watching the markets. I am getting extremely mixed signals here. So I'm not going to go with a trade in the S&P. Not yet anyway. Maybe as it develops tomorrow morning, we'll get into that. We do have two omnis for tomorrow, though I'll tell you this. Wheat looks very good. Green Omni in the wheat. We like the green Omnis, right? Green is green's good, guys. Green is good. We got a red Omni and T-Bonds. We think bonds are going down. We want to get short on any small rally tonight and expect some good downside. Make sure you come to the site. It's www.livewithoscar.com and check out our T-Bond recommendation. We also have the wheat recommendation there on the site for you. Traders, in my last video, I told you about a bunch of markets that are going to go haywire during the holiday week. And then as soon as we get back from the three-day weekend, everything's going to correct. Well, the wheat is correcting, the gold is correcting, the silver is correcting, the currencies are correcting, the dollar is heading back down. Everything else is corrected. The bonds are heading back down where they came from. The only thing that hasn't corrected yet, or one of the few is the S&P, and I can't imagine it's got much life left to it. But we got a wheat trade on the board. as a chart behind me I'd like to show to you now, traders. I think you'll see why technically we should go higher, plus the, the silly fundamental of watching out for the reverse action during the pre-holiday trading is now out of the way, and you have that as well, pushing the market back up. Let's go to the charts now, trader, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, traders, the chart I'm about to show you is the May Wheat ZWK8 Electronic May Wheat. We have talked about being bullish the wheat in our Omni today as well as in the video yesterday or a couple of days ago, I guess that was, right? The weekend webinar. Well, here is the chart. It's a daily bar. Look at what happens every time we get near one of our proprietary averages here that we love to use at the Omni Trading Academy. A bounce, we get near it again, a bounce, we come all the way down to it during the week preceding the holiday, and we hit that average perfectly, and a bounce we do expect. Now, each time we did get close to that average, we just got below this other average here. Then we would run into this average, and it would bounce right back up, and that's exactly where we were on Monday, and now we're looking at this to do the very same thing that we expect, and that is take wheat towards the upside. So we are looking to buy wheat traders. Take a look at your charts. All of my indicators I usually run along the bottom of my charts are all pointing towards the upside, and you see those averages and what happens every time we hit the average. So you have to go with the trade unless the chart tells you something different. This chart tells me to go with the trade, so we are looking to buy wheat tomorrow. Do your own homework on this trade, traders. Pull up a chart. Tell me what you think about the wheat before you would consider buying it. And I'll meet you in the rooms tomorrow, and we'll see if we get along this thing. So, you've seen the charts. You see that that wheat chart, every time we get near that average, you get the nice bounce. We know that the fundamentals behind wheat are bullish. The technicals are bullish. I'm going with a wheat trade, baby, tomorrow for March 25th, 2008 on Tuesday. We like the ZWK8 for the upside. Omni says to buy the mid to low 1020s. 
this thing pulls down to the 1020 area, maybe below it a little, right around it. You get yourselves long the wheat. Right now, we're currently trading around 1035, 1033, so take a look at that for yourselves. Omni's profit objective on this wheat trade, if we get lucky, is the mid to high 1080s, or be out by the close. From the 1020s to the 1080s, traders, I'd love to see it happen. I think you can buy the dips in wheat. Make sure you do your own homework on that trade. Buy some dips in wheat tomorrow, and I think you'll be okay with this trade. Remember, we're also looking at the downside in T-bonds. The downside in T-bonds. Up wheat, down bonds. Let's see what we're going to get. Traders, I tell you this in every video, and I really mean it. The feedback I get from my Omniacs is incredible about this subject, and it's don't trade alone. So many of them write me letters and tell me how it's helped them. It's helped their trading. It's helped their analysis. It's helped their mentality. It's kept their emotions out. As a crowd, we're learning how to keep our emotions out of trading. It's what we teach here at the Omni Trading Academy. So make sure that you become one of us Omniacs. And come on down to the site, grab a membership, get yourself a gold membership or better, and you can see the stocks where they belong on these trades. You can see where exactly where we're buying, where we're selling, and we have other trades, of course, that we don't put in these videos that we give out to our Omniacs when they get a membership at our site. So make sure you come to the site. It's www.livewithoscar.com and get yourselves a membership. Traders, I'm going to run because I want to go check out the markets. I tell you to give me a call anytime, day or night, and we are here to answer those calls. So please do. Phone number is 702-629-4755. And as always, shoot me out your emails at oscaratfuturesanalysts.com. All right, traders, keep your emotions out of trading, as I tell you every single day. One of the best things I can do to help you with that is to tell you to say this to yourselves every day. And you know what that is. Stops are in, emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.